Welcome to a new vlog. If you are new here, my name is Kim. This fall, I'm going to be teaching second grade in West Michigan, and today I believe is day four of classroom setup, I wanna say, and my mom is on her way, so she's going to be helping out a little bit today as well. She just got out of work though, so I'm not gonna make her work as hard as I did in the last vlog. If you saw that one, we were here like all day on a Saturday. Today, she's probably gonna be here a couple hours helping me with a couple things, which I really appreciate. She's seriously the best. So many of you commented and were like, oh my gosh, your mom's amazing, and I know, she's really great. So I'm excited to have her here. She's going to work on these little blue panels and we're going to put up the, I don't know if you can see it in the background there, kind of, sort of, maybe. There's like some green and white tablecloth material from Walmart and it has like leaves on it and everything. I'll put a little close up of it right now. But she's gonna work on putting that on those blue panels to just make them look a little bit cuter. So we're gonna do that. And then also I just have a couple other like little projects I'm gonna work on around the classroom. I cut out some things on my Cricut yesterday so I might work on putting some of those things up. And then also I did come in for just a couple minutes the other day and I hung up these little like eucalyptus stems on the front board, but I didn't have enough. So I did order one more pack of those and that's coming today as well. So I'll probably hang those up. I might have to swing home though first because they're getting delivered to my house. So I will in fact have to swing home first if I'm gonna do that, but I might do that today. And yeah, just a couple like little projects I wanna work on. So I'm excited for for all of those, it's gonna be great. If you enjoy setup videos and teacher vlogs, please take a moment to subscribe to my channel and turn on the post notification bell so you're notified every time I post a new video. It really helps me out as well as like commenting and liking the video and all that fun stuff. Helps to boost my engagement so that way I reach more people who might be interested in this video. Also, I do have an Instagram and a TikTok and all of those fun things. I'm elementary in the mitten basically everywhere except for Twitter where I'm Elam in the mitten. I think I'm going to put my hair up because it's already really hot in here. I think it's like 80 something degrees, let's see. Right now it is. It is 84 degrees right now, and so I'm going to put my hair up because I'm sweating already. And it's like so nice and cool at my house with my air conditioning that I get this like false sense of reality. And I'm like, oh my gosh, yeah, I can look cute during classroom setup. And then I come in for like 10 minutes and I'm a big sweaty mess, but that's fine. We do what we can. So yes, okay, put my hair up and then I'm going to like organize my thoughts. Oh, also guess what else I found? I found the magnetic border I've been looking for. It's right there. I had put it into a little drawer so so I wouldn't lose it and then I lost it and so if you've seen my past couple setup videos you know that I was having trouble finding it but now I have found it and so I'm trying to be a little bit more steady this camera doesn't have like a great stabilizer and so it's like really easy for it to look like rocky so I apologize about that but anyways I'm gonna put up the magnetic border on this board and then also I hung up this cute little like wall hanging wall decoration I got this from Michaels for 70% off I think it's so cute so yeah, I hung that up as well. And then also they delivered, I'm like walking around with my tripod. <laughs> Also, they delivered the rest of my furniture, which is so fun. So this is the rest of the furniture from my old classroom. So I believe I have everything now, I'm pretty sure. I think I have everything from my old classroom in my new classroom, so that's exciting. Um, I did also buy a new tripod, which is nicer because the one that I'm using right now is actually broken, but I haven't figured out how to use it just yet, so I might ask my mom for help to see if she can help me figure out how to use this once she gets here. Okay, my arm is starting to get sore, so let's go ahead and do some classroom setup. Woohoo! A million people in the crowd. Okay, Mama's here now! Whoa. Mama! She is working on using the fabric, obviously, <laughs> and cutting it out. And then she figured out that actually, I guess you can staple into those two panels. I thought for sure you wouldn't be able to because they're like really hard. But yeah, you can, so that's exciting. So hopefully we don't lose another stapler to this job though, because I've officially broken like all of my staplers, except for one. one. We're down so to one. And broken. I had how many, like four? Yeah, and, th and that one's even broken. Yeah, it's even a little bit broken, but not as badly as the other one. So I hopefully, one. yeah, hopefully this doesn't uh, do us in. Bass keep pounding on me, baby. I really wanna make you mine. You give me hope, something about you, yeah. When 
Okay, so we just got a couple of projects done. Mom finished the little thing over there. It's looking so good. And then also I finished, well now I'm just gonna move you around this way, I suppose. I finished putting up my name up there, which I actually cut out those exact same letters in white because I was originally gonna put them on that bulletin board right there. But I ended up changing my mind and I put up that little wall hanging and decided I'm gonna put pictures there of like my class and my students and stuff. And so I decided to put my name in black up here. So I just like recut out the same file just in black paper. So that's just like black laminated paper. And then and I just hot glued it on there though I did stick some painters tape on the wall before I hot glued so that way I can hopefully peel it off a little bit easier when it's time for me to move classrooms and I convinced mom now to work on painting the dollhouse yay a lot of you really like that dollhouse I actually got a comment of somebody who said they used to have that dollhouse when they were little oh, isn't that so fun so I know it made me smile so yeah super excited about the dollhouse it's gonna be so cute but it definitely is like a huge project so mom's working on that and then while she's doing that I'm going to laminate and cut out these papers so i actually just made these for my calendar and they are in my tpt so i'll link them below if you're interested in them but i think they're really cute so i just put the numbers and then i put the numbers in spanish as well below them and then i also have the um months and then i have the months in spanish below as well and yeah i'm gonna laminate these cut them out and then i might set up my calendar for the first day of school because it sounds fun so here we go let's do this Something about you, yeah. Okay, so I am working on laminating all of these papers, but it's taking me a while. So in the meantime, I got kind of bored, so I'm working on some other stuff. So, okay, so while that laminating is going on, I'm trying to map out my Wonderwall bulletin board. Again, I feel like I've mentioned this in like every single video, but this is from the Curious Classroom book. I read it earlier this summer and I really, really enjoyed it. I will link it below. I highly recommend reading it. I got a lot out of it. But anyways, I want to have a Wonderwall. It's gonna be a bulletin board that I have, but I got these plates from Hobby Lobby, like actually a couple years ago, maybe last year, because I thought maybe I would use them for a word wall, and now I've decided I'm gonna do a sound wall instead of a word wall. So I'm not using them for that. So I thought it could be fun to use them for my wonder wall, but I feel like these words that I cut out or like the letters that I cut out on my Cricut, they just kind of like disappear on the plates. So my mom suggested maybe putting like a black circle behind them or something. So I might work on cutting those out on my Cricut. I could just like walk down to the supply room and see if I can grab some black paper and maybe do that. But yeah, I think it'll look cute once I figure it out. I just like haven't quite figured it out yet. Also, mom is still over here doing the most, painting the little dollhouse. It's gonna be so cute when it's done. Thanks for working on that, mama. So I just finished cutting out all of my little calendar inserts, which I'm really excited about. But I realized, because I just tried putting it up here a little bit ago to make, like, make sure the pieces fit before I finished laminating and cutting all of them. And I realized there's no way that I can put like the day of the week on here because then if it started, like if the first day of the year started on like a Saturday, let's say. So if it was like over this way, and I use this first line right here to have the days of the week, then I wouldn't have enough little pockets. I don't know if that makes sense. But then I was thinking maybe I could add some like heat transfer vinyl and I could put vinyl on here to have the days of the week, but I'm worried then I might melt the plastic. So I'm not really sure what I'm gonna do about that. If you have any ideas, definitely let me know in a comment below because I really would like to figure that out. I guess I could put regular vinyl on here, but I feel like it would just flake off because this is like fabric. It's like a plasticky fabric, but it is fabric. So I'm not really sure what I'm gonna do about that, but I might actually look on like Pinterest and see how other people have their calendars to see if I can figure it out. But in the meantime, I'm going to set this up for the first day of school, yay! Okay, so 
So I just found these inserts that came with a pocket chart. This pocket chart is from Amazon, but it's like originally from Scholastic. And so they included these and it looks like they have some days that they like included two different dates on one card, if that makes sense. And so that's how they got away with it because there's also not on this one, but in one of the other inserts, there's days of the weeks included. So I really do want the days of the weeks. So what would you guys do? Let me know, especially if you're like a primary teacher and you have a calendar, cause you probably have like the same issue I would assume. What do you do so you have your days of the weeks? Do you just have some months where you don't have enough spots and then do you just use like, I guess I could just use magnets at the bottom and like put them on magnets at the very bottom. I could do that or I could make some where it has like the slash through it or I could just not include it if it's on a weekend, I guess. I don't really know. So what would you guys do? Let me know in a comment below. I think I will go ahead and make the cards for like, you know, Monday through Sunday or Sunday through Saturday or whatever. Oh, I also would love to know that. Do, if you have a calendar in your room, do you start with Sunday as your first day or do you have a Sunday as your last day? Because I'm thinking I'll have Sunday as my first day, right? I feel like that would make more sense because that looks like a traditional calendar, but also like every planner I've ever had has Sunday at the end of the week. So I'm not really sure. Let me know in a comment below. Let me know all the things. These are things I have not had to think about before. <laughs> so I will figure it out. But I do really like how the cards turned out. I especially like that I have like the Spanish on them as well. I don't know how well you can see that. I'll like bring it a little bit closer, but I have the words in Spanish on there as well. And that's something I really wanna work on because I do have a lot of students who have Spanish as their first language. In fact, it's like most of my students will have Spanish as their first language. Um, I don't know about this specific class, but that's true for my school as a whole. So I wanna just be like practicing Spanish more and like incorporating it into just like general teaching and stuff. So yes, <sighs> I feel like I'm like out of breath now because I was just talking so fast. So, I don't know what I'm gonna do next, but I'm gonna go figure it out. Also, mom is still over there painting. She has a lot more patience than I do. I would have given up and done something. I probably would have started 10 other projects in the time. In fact, I probably have started 10 other projects in the time you've been working on that. <laughs> City dancing through the night, but I'm not there. You've got me soaring in the clouds. Okay, so mom just finished the basketball and it looks so cute. I got all of these baskets at different like thrift stores and I was gonna say garage sales, but no, I'm pretty sure they're all from thrift stores. And I just think they're so cute. I've been collecting them for a while and I actually have a few that I didn't use as well. So mom just hung these up using push pins. Right? Mm -hmm. Okay, I already forgot. She just had to tell me what the difference was between push pins and thumbtacks and straight pins and all the things. But anyways, so right now they're up with push pins and then we're gonna get some straight pins and swap those out because if you're like up really close, you can kind of see the push pins right now. But I just think it looks so cute and it adds a lot to the wall and I'm hoping it's high enough up that the kids won't be able to get to it. But if they touch it, it's not like the end of the world. That's totally fine. But yeah, I just think it looks really cute. And then over here, trying to not make you guys super dizzy over here mom is working on the bookshelf still and it's looking so good it definitely needs like one more layer I think on part of it one more coat or whatever but it's looking so good and it's gonna look so good when it has books on it so I'm really excited Okay, so I just hung up the wonder letters on the board and originally I was gonna have it say wonder and then have like wall underneath it, but now I'm thinking maybe I should put wall on plates over here. I haven't really decided though, so I'm not really sure. I'm not sold like one way or the other. I also am not like completely sold on how this looks right now. I can't decide if I like it or not. I have that happen a lot where I look at something and I'm like, hmm, do I like that? Do I not like that? <laughs> and then it has to either like grow on me or I have to change it. So I don't know about this. It might change, we'll see, but it works for now. And then I think I'll have like all of my kids' pictures up here maybe. I haven't really decided, but yeah, we'll see. On my last setup vlog, a bunch of you were like, hey Kim, you know you have a little light above your bulletin boards, right? Because I was complaining about how this corner is really dark. And yes, I do have a light up there, which is gonna be super nice, except for right now, it does not work, unfortunately. So I'm gonna put in a maintenance request about that, and hopefully it's an easy fix. I'm hoping maybe it's just like the light bulb or something needs replaced, but we will see. And then I just put a few little plastic bins right here. This will be like my turn-in bin, my extra copies bin, and then scrap paper bins. And I haven't labeled them yet, 
that, but I thought I would just put them here so I can see what that looks like. And then this right here is actually a little like comment card box that I got off of Amazon and it locks, which is really nice. And I actually wanna add vinyl this year. I've had it for the past couple years and I still have not gotten around to adding vinyl on it. So I need to do that this year. But usually I put little cards out on there, like little slips of paper that say things I wish my teacher knew. And the kids can just like leave me little notes in there if like something's kind of hard for them or if they wanna like tell me something and they haven't gotten a chance to like say it out loud to me. Or it's really good for like my more shy kids. But honestly, like in past years, pretty much all of my students have used it at some point. So yeah, I really like having that. And I like having it by their papers that they turn in. So then it's like not in a scary spot. Like they don't have to make a special trip up here just to drop something in there. They can just like drop it in kind of inconspicuously. And then I have fake flowers right there as well or like fake greenery as well. And I just love how this spot turned out. I think it looks so cute. Okay, so it's a little bit later now. My mom left a little bit ago, and when she left, I went to Target to pick up a couple of things. So I'll share some of the highlights with you. So I did get some more of that contact paper. We're gonna try it over. If you saw my last vlog, you saw that we put up this contact paper, we as in my mom, and it was a lot harder than we thought it would be. And so anyways, we ended up just pulling it off today and scrapping it because it was like all wrinkled and nasty. And a bunch of you left some tips on my last setup video on how to set this up more effectively <laughs> so we're gonna try again a lot of people said to like leave the paper backing on it and instead just like tape it up or glue it up with the backing still on it and other people said to put it on like a poster board or a foam board instead there were a ton of different tips so read through the comments on my last video if you want tips for how to put up this contact paper but I did think it looks cute it just was like super wrinkly so we're gonna try it again with a new roll I also found this really cute little shelf in the dollar spot. It was $5, but I think it's like the perfect size just for like my tape dispenser and stuff like that. And I think I'm going to put push pins in this and hang it up by my desk. I feel like that will be a good spot for it. And I just liked the wood and everything. And for $5, I thought that was a pretty good deal for like a little shelf. And then the last things that I got from Target were these adhesive square label pockets. I get these almost every year. I really like them. They're great for like putting little goals on students' desks. They're great for like honestly so many different things. I will say though, they rarely last me the whole year. And so, I don't know. I wish there was a better solution, but I haven't found one yet because these are like $3 for 20, which isn't like horrible, I guess, but it always just feels like more than I want to pay for something that I know is not going to last me like from year to year. So if you have any tips for how to get these to last longer, definitely let me know. Or if you like use something else instead that works really well, like if you figured out a dupe for these or a way to... I don't know, like make your own or something. I'm not really sure. But anyways, I did pick them up. It's fine. <laughs> and I plan on using these maybe on my Wonder Wall. I haven't exactly decided how I want the kids to like put up their questions onto the Wonder Wall yet. Or I might use these just as like little goal sheets for my students at their desk. I do like having goals like really readily available for my students where they can see them all the time and know what they're working towards. So I don't know, we'll see. And I think I do still have like maybe one pack of these from last year as well. Cause I think last year I bought like a bunch of these. Also, I had planned on running home and getting my little eucalyptus like strands to put above the whiteboard, but I ended up checking my Amazon account and it said that the shipment was postponed until tomorrow. So I will have to wait until my next setup vlog to show you those, but I think it's gonna look really cute once it's done. So I'm excited about that. And still tonight, there's just like a couple odds and ends I wanna take care of before I leave. I wanna laminate a couple more things, maybe cut some things out. And then also I might try to put one more coat on the dollhouse because I would love to just like have that done. It doesn't have to be perfect. As long as it looks good, like staring at it face on or front on, face on. As long as it looks good when you're like straight on, then I'm cool with that. It doesn't have to be perfect because it's gonna have like books covering most of it anyways. But yeah, I would love to get maybe one more coat on there before I leave, we'll see how I feel. And then I probably will skedaddle. It's pretty hot in here and it's getting kind of late, so I don't wanna stay here forever. So yes, okay, gonna go do those few things and here we go. The ocean is surrounding me, baby. I'm sure we lost track of time. Okay, so I decided I am going to shift all of these numbers 
down so that way I can fit the days of the week because I feel like it's important. So <laughs> again though, if you have any tips for what to do with the months where like the 31st or the 30th would be off the chart, off the charts, <laughs> no, but like literally off the chart, definitely let me know in a comment below because I still have not completely figured that out. But yes, I am going to ship those down. And then I also put the extras in this little magnetic, what is this called? Like magnetic pencil cup, I guess, pencil holder. So I put those in there. These are honestly not the best. I got this one at Target a few years ago, I think. And the magnets are like starting to come off. So I might have to put some new magnets on there because I feel like it's like gonna fall down if I put anything else in there. So I also am going to put this up at some point to put like today is, and then we can write the date together every day. So yeah. That's gonna go on there. So I might like stick some magnets on this actually. So I'm gonna leave that one out. The rest can all go in this little pencil cup. And then also I have a bunch of these little cards included in the calendar. So I have like a birthday one, but then I have a bunch of different holidays as well. It doesn't wanna focus on it for some reason, but yeah, birthdays and then other holidays as well. And I tried to make them just like really simple. So yes, okay. Anyways, I'm gonna ship these all down. Let's do this. <laughs> Okay, so it is just about time for me to call it a night. I can feel my energy like evaporating out of every pore of my being. I just had a moment where I was like looking around my classroom like totally zoned out and I'm like, okay, wait, I'm tired. I need to go home. So I'm gonna pull you off of the tripod and walk you around, show you what it's looking like. Honestly, it's still kind of looking a big, huge mess, especially in like the middle of the classroom because that's where I keep just like setting all of the stuff as I work. But I do feel like I've gotten a lot done. There's still a lot to do, but also that's because I like to make it like cutesy and stuff. A lot of you have probably heard me talk about this before if you've watched previous vlogs, but I don't really do any decorating in my house. My husband's like very minimal and just doesn't really like anything extra if it doesn't serve a purpose. And so I love decorating my class Room. And so there are definitely some things in here that are just decorative. They're just for fun But I do feel like they add a little something extra to the classroom to make it look like homey and stuff Which is always my goal I just want it to feel like really homey and like a cozy living room space for my students to be in and I don't plan on finishing every single like bulletin board and stuff like that before the school year starts because a lot of those things We're gonna build together But as I walk you around you will definitely see some things that are just like extra fun things And it's just because I have fun with it and I really enjoy having like baskets on my wall for example and stuff like that and I have the extra space to do it and I don't feel like it's super distracting or anything like that it's in the back of the classroom so in no way am I saying that you need to decorate your classroom this much or that you need to spend your own money on your classroom or that you need to spend your time over the summer decorating your classroom or anything like that you do you I feel like there's been a lot of debate online lately about whether teachers should show themselves working in their classrooms over the summer or show things that they bought with their own money and I am just under the conclusion that that it is your money and you may do what you wish with it, but don't feel like you need to spend money in your classroom. Don't feel like you need to be rushing into school to set it up just because you're watching this vlog. If that makes you happy, then I say go for it. I get so much joy out of setting up my classroom. I get so much time that I spend with like my mom, for example, like you guys saw in today's vlog and in my last one, and I just really, really love it. Okay. Now that I have rambled on for long enough, I'm gonna pull you off the tripod and let's walk around and see the room. All right, so starting from my door, this is what you see when you first come in, my wonder wall. I just have the wonder on there, not the wall yet, but that's okay. And this is one of those bulletin boards that will fill in as a class once the students get here. So I'll just put the header on and then the rest will fill in together most likely. And then over here, I did end up bringing in a bookshelf that was moved into the hallway. This is mine from my old classroom, but I just hadn't like scooted it in yet. So I brought this in. I I don't know if it's gonna live here or not. I don't love that it like overlaps right here. Like I feel like it's just a little bit too close to like the soap and stuff. I mean, you can still obviously like use the soap and it would be fine, but I don't know. I just haven't decided. Also at the bottom, it would have to be like partially on the rug and partially on the tile. Sorry, my, um, I almost said phone. My camera does not want to focus, but that's okay. But I saw in a video and I want to say it was Shelly's video, Shelly Coach. She's great. If you don't follow her, you need to. I'm sure you do, but yeah, she's awesome. I think it was her video that I saw that talked about having like a student center. So having like all of the community supplies and all of that kind of stuff in one area. So I like the idea of doing that. So I started putting this right here to see what that might look like. And then I would put like all of the community supplies that the kids would need to access all on here 
here. And then also I have a couple little dustpans. I do something called magic scrap in my room. I've explained it before. Maybe I'll explain it in like a TikTok or something if you're interested. But I have a little basket with some dustpans up here for magic scrap or just like when we make messes and we need to clean them up. And I might put like a little label on that. I haven't done that in the past, but I think that might look cute. And then this space over here is coming together, you guys. It is looking so cute. So first of all, I put up this new little shelf that I love. Like how cute is that? $5. So I really, really like that. And let's see. And I have my tape on there and then I made these little sticks, which I think I showed in a vlog, I wanna say. So I have those little sticks and I'll write students' names on them. And then below that, I have this cute little crate and I actually just thrifted this and then I hung it up using little like push pins. And then I have little supplies on there. And then I've shown this in previous vlogs, but I will share it again. I just have like my clipboards with just documents that I would wanna access really quickly. And then my lamp and all that fun stuff. Nothing really new over there. And then over here, today I added on the border. Next time I come in, I'll add in the eucalyptus leaves right there, or like the strands, which I will link those below if you're interested in them. I think it was like $16 for a pack of three, which is what I have on right now. So I have three separate strands on there right now and it was almost enough to fill. So I think like maybe one more strand will be enough and then I can use the other two strands somewhere else. And I just love how they look. I think they're so cute. And then, yes, I did end up putting a little, like, what do you call this? Not shower rod, but curtain rod, I'm not sure. I ended up putting that on there, but I don't love how wide it is. I feel like I should be able to make it smaller. I'm sure I can, but I just didn't really mess with it today. And I like to use those to hang up anchor charts. So originally I was gonna put my class schedule up here, but I think I'm gonna do that at the back of the room instead. So yes, that's what that's looking like right now. And then I'll make the curtain rod a little bit shorter if I can figure that out. And then I did not not end up adding another layer to the bookshelf tonight. I will probably have my mom do that next time she comes in. <laughs> she has a lot more patience for these types of projects than I do and she just did a great job so far. So we use like a paint and primer or like a primer that I had left over from a house project. I'm not exactly sure what, probably painting a wall or something. So we had a little bit left in there, so we used that first, and then we ended up using this acrylic paint, and it actually worked really, really well. So, yep, just folk art acrylic paint, and I made sure I got the one that could be used on like a bunch of different surfaces, and so far, so good. I mean, obviously, I don't know how well it's gonna hold up yet, but hopefully it holds up really well. And then you guys know that that will go in that corner eventually once it's done and then we'll have books on it and I'm super excited for that. I haven't really tackled the library at all yet. I mean I like sorted the books for the most part but I am definitely not going to have this many books in each bin. That would be way too heavy for the kids and it's just like way too messy looking right now. So I am going to figure this out eventually just not today not probably not tomorrow and probably not the next day but at some point I will probably have a whole vlog just like figuring out my classroom library and then I've gotten a bunch of requests to do like like a whole library organization video. So I will do that eventually. I just need to wait until I figure it out. So yes, I have not figured it out perfectly yet. Obviously you can tell by this hot mess express that is my classroom library right now but eventually I will figure it out. And then I have that bookshelf too to use for like chapter books and stuff. And then I had a couple leftover baskets from the basket wall. So I just stuck them up there with some magnets and I think they look cute. I mean, I'll move them if I end up having something else that I wanna put up there. But for now, I figured that they work. Over here, nothing really new over here, I don't think. It's just a big, huge mess for right now. But eventually I do want this to be my sound wall and then I might make this my sound wall as well because I'll probably need two separate spots for that but I just like haven't really figured out how I want to set that up yet I want to do like a sound wall with a vowel valley so I haven't decided if I want like the vowel valley over here maybe and I haven't bought one yet because I kind of want to make one of my own because I don't like love the ones that I found online. Like I found some that I like, but I haven't found like the perfect one. Like I almost like have an idea in my brain of what I want it to be like and my idea doesn't exist. So if I want it to exist, I need to create it, but I just like haven't done that yet. I started it, but yeah, I have not finished it. So we'll see if that project gets done or not. If not, then I might just end up buying one for this year and maybe like making my own for next year. So we will see. And then over here, <laughs> I have a lamp going with my tripod. So ignore 
ignore that. Let me walk around this so that's not in the way. But I'm loving how the calendar is looking. I'm going to make those little days of the week little inserts up there probably tonight or maybe tomorrow and yeah I just really like how it looks and then I have today is and then I put up this little magnetic spice rack that is from Amazon and then I put a couple of little cups on there and I figured those could hold my extra cards and then also my expo markers and my eraser okay here's what I'm thinking but I haven't decided yet I almost want to put my rug back here and have this be like my, I don't know, like rug area. <laughs> like when I say, like come to the rug and I do a read aloud, I almost want it to be back here and then I could have our like calendar time during our like morning read aloud or morning meeting or however I want to do that. So I don't know. I haven't like 100% decided, but I feel like it would fit. I have like a big rug in storage. And so I think it would fit there just fine because I have like plenty of room back here, but also all my desks are like squished right there right now. So I don't know once I set up my desk if I'll have as much room, but yeah. I don't know, I haven't decided. And then I have my basket wall, which yes, is silly and frivolous, but it makes my heart happy. I actually was inspired by Boho Beach Teacher on Instagram. I absolutely love following her. And she has a basket wall in her room and I just thought it was so cute. And so I've always wanted one and I wanted one for my house and my husband said no, <laughs> he didn't like it. And so I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna put it in my classroom then. And so there it is. And it makes my heart happy and I know that some people aren't gonna like it and that's okay. Again, it's not like completely done you can tell in some of them more than others but there are just like push pins on there right now and so we're going to use some straight pins so they'll be a little bit more like inconspicuous but yeah I just think it's so stinking cute I absolutely love it next time I come in I think I'm going to put a little label either above the fridge or like on the fridge itself that just says the fridge and then also I'm going to use some washi tape to make a like pretend freezer because I just think that will make it look a little bit more like a fridge. And also I feel like this space right now looks kind of busy, but the reasoning is I have a white couch from my old classroom. It's currently in storage, but we haven't gotten the okay yet that we can have cloth furniture in the rooms yet. So I'm really crossing my fingers that we can, but if we are allowed to, I'm gonna bring in my white couch and it's gonna go against here. So it's gonna cover a lot of that fabric and then it will just be like a fun pop behind the couch, which I think will look really, really cute. Over here, there's just like a ton of random stuff with no real rhyme or reason. So eventually I will organize all of that, but today's not the day for me to do that. So yes, oh, also the Mrs. Halls is up there and I'll just slowly go around so you can see what the room is looking like. I feel like it looks so good. But also there's still so much work to be done, which is totally fine. That's kind of just like how it goes during classroom setup. These are all of the inserts from my calendar pocket chart that I got off of Amazon. Like I said, it originally is from Scholastic, but kind of fun. It shows you how to set it up, which is how I knew that you know, there was space for the days of the week right there. And then also it just gives you some ideas for different things you could do with your students. So that's kind of fun. So I definitely will link this below. I really like it. It definitely was a little bit more expensive than some of the other pocket charts I found on Amazon, but I really liked that the top part right here is all one piece versus a lot of the other ones that I found, it was either two pieces like cut in the middle right there, or it was three separate pieces, if that makes sense. But this one is all one piece for the month, which I really liked. And and from this corner, this is what my room is looking like. So classroom setup is not all pretty and that is okay. It is just absolutely disastrous in here right now. And I just hope that nobody comes in while I'm gone and <laughs> looks at this and thinks I'm a messy person because I promise once the school year starts, I'm pretty organized, but yeah, this is just kind of how classroom setup goes. That is all for classroom setup day four. I really hope that you enjoyed it. If you did, please take a moment to give this video a thumbs up. Also, let me know in a comment below, when is your first day of school? So for me, our first day, I mm, let's think. Our first day would be August 30th, I believe. It will be the Monday <laughs> of that week. So kids start on September 1st, and I'm super excited. For this year, I'm so excited to be teaching second grade finally, so life is so good. So let me know in a comment below, when do you go back to school? Are you feeling excited? Are you feeling nervous? Are you feeling a combination of the two? Are you still in like summer vacay mode? If that's true for you, that's totally fine. Um, I'm like kind of in a combo of the two. So next week I'm actually going on vacation, which I'm really excited about. And so I'm gonna be gone the whole week, so then I'll be in like vacay mode, and then when I come back I'll be in like classroom mode again. <laughs> 
Thank you so much for watching today's vlog. If you enjoyed it, please make sure to give it a thumbs up. Also take a moment to subscribe if you're not subscribed already and turn on that post notification bell so you're notified every time I post a new video. There are lots more setup vlogs coming as I'm sure you can tell because we still have a long way to go in here even though we already have done a lot. So turn on that post notification bell, follow me on all of my other social media websites. They're not my social media websites, but go follow me on the other social media websites that I'm on, which is like Instagram, TikTok, Twitter, I can't think of anything else, but I'm sure there's other things too. I will leave the handles below for those and links, but I'm basically elementary in the mitten everywhere. So I would love to have you follow me on all of those places. And yeah, I think that's all from me. So thanks so much for watching and I will see you in the next vlog. Bye.